Yo, what's up? Back again. Just working on the uh, ATI Super Damper, my slides. Phew. Uh, just pulled it apart. I've got a uh, machine 5mm off the end here. Because um, when you fit the SR20VE oil pump on an S13, S14, S15 block, um, the oil spacer is 5mm longer, so it's... um. I think it's 30 mil and the other one's 25 or it's 35 and the other one's 30 something like that so anyways you machine 5 mil off this so I'll just go on the lathe now and we'll set this up so this is the beast just give it a quick clean before I actually take some material off so the stuff that I'm using here is a uh, copper shim it's so that this doesn't wreck um, or when I'm clamping it doesn't leave any marks uh, on on this because like kind of looks shit when they have like the jaw marks so all I'm gonna do is just like roughly get it to where I want it to be and then just trim it off like so just be aware like always take the fucking chuck key out when I was in the Navy they used to have one of these a real big one and you'd have to wear it around your neck for like the day it's quite embarrassing I'll just get a DTI gauge and we'll set it up so just in case uh, just in case any of you are wondering um, this is this distance that I've got it oh, the overall distance is 25 mil. It says 25.1, but it's it's probably 25. So I've got to take 5 mil off, which will take the overall length to 20. So we'll remove that. So I've just set it up. Um, I'm just checking to see. Oh, that's not good light. Just checking to see um, like how it's sitting in the lathe and I think it's pretty good so we're gonna go with that um, there's another check that I could do which is on this edge facing downwards just to make sure that it's not you know out around but usually if it's good that way and I'm pretty sure like the machining would be good but I will verify it and I'll just do it now it's probably on the on the extreme end doing it doing it like this but I like to do it properly so, so I think um, what we're picking up is from like the surface but I think we're good so we're ready to machine it so we got uh, Mr. Cut and Cool from Worth the uh, rep comes in every now and then. Uh, I don't really see him anymore because I only do Fridays, but put some of this on there. And let's do the first cut. I gotta take off five mil of that. So I've measured some off, I mean, <laughs> milled or use the lathe to cut some of the material off. Uh, so far, we are sitting at about 22, 22 millimeters. So I've just got a couple more passes to do and that should be all done. Put a little chamfer on the inside um, for ease of installation and maybe just a little chamfer on the outside too, just to make it look pretty. Sweet, so that's all done and I'm just gonna give this a, a slight taper 
maybe just put a little bit more uh, cutting fluid on there. And we are good to go. Make sure none of that's gonna, nope. I think it's good. It's just a little, little, little. Ah, I probably could do one more. Fucking chattering. Sweet. So, it's all ready to go. You can just see a little chamfer. So that should pop straight onto the crank. Uh, so that was sitting there, this was sitting here. Put the O-ring back on and we'll bolt it up. And that's how you convert the ATI dampener to fit your SR20VE conversion. Just gonna do these up lightly because there's some other stuff that I've got to get from Tarks, which I have to put back on, and then we'll talk them all at once. Last but not least, thanks to uh, Mr. Worth again. I didn't have any black, so it's just going to have to be uh, zinc. It's all good though. At least it'll um, be a little bit protected. It won't rust. Maybe we'll just put a little bit. Ah. Uh.